What's up traders? I want to make a companion video to something I just published on TradingView. That is the textbook example of one of my favorite patterns, which is a false breakout reversal. I've been trying to scream from the rooftops to people that the stock market is doing a pattern just like this. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for being one of my uh, several dozen people that actually watch this instead of watching stuff about animal coins, because I think this is actually useful. And we actually have a really good example of what I'm talking about that happened in a trade that I posted last Thursday. So last Thursday, we had this big dip down on the market. They got everyone confused. What's going on? The favorite trade that I saw at the time was in waste management. And this is what it looked like at the time. This is what the false breakout looked like. It actually just happened to hit a 50% retracement level, which is another qualification for a trade of mine. But the key is really that we got down to this February 14th low. That's where price was holding. And then boom, it spiked down on that Thursday dip only to close back inside that range. That sucks up for a trade. And then now today, that's up to a three to one. It's a beauty. It's a thing of beauty. And that's what I'm trying to illustrate to people when we look at the stock market as a whole, the let's just say the SPY, which today pulled back to what I would consider to be an entry level for this type of setup. Hello, little one. I'm going to let it keep going. So what we had is a down move on... that got us down to the January the 24th low right here. And then you see where price held that level briefly on the S&P, SPY on Tuesday, uh, which was January, or excuse me, February the 23rd. And then that Thursday, it broke below. And so now I'm going to let you say hey to Tay Tay, who wants to be in this video. Uh, we'll take a little doggy break. Say hello, Tay Tay. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's let's get back to the thing. Let me finish my video. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So break below the low only that Thursday to close back inside it. Again, if we go back to the waste management, that is exactly the pattern that it did. Broke below the low only to close back inside of it. And so that's what we're seeing here. What this tells me is it tells me that I have an opportunity to possibly play this back up to the recent all-time high with a stop below the low right there. That's a two to one risk reward ratio. Hashtag not financial advice. What is making me very bullish on stocks right now, despite all the Russia, Ukraine FUD that's going on. And so go and look at waste management on the 30 minute to, and pay, take a screenshot of that. The reason I'm making such a big deal about it is because this is a textbook example. And I really hope, I don't know if it's going to happen in the future, but I really hope that this pattern on the daily of the SPY is going to also be a textbook example. I'm going to put this on my wall frame it, if you will. And this is a point that I've tried to make in lots of my content, which is, you know, people ask me, what's the best time frame for looking for these patterns? What is the best instrument to look for these patterns? All of them. These patterns are on price, on a chart, is a representation of human psychology. People thought that price was going one way, only to have it snap back in the other direction. And now everyone that was short is caught and they've got to get out of those shorts or else they're going to take a lot of losses. Same thing happens on the top side. In fact, uh, as I believe I mentioned, maybe in some past videos on the uh, QQQ, which is also doing the same pattern, it did a false breakout to the upside back in November of 2021. And that was what was a signal for this dip that we've been undergoing. Look, these things don't work 100% of the time, but they let you set up a nice defined risk to play the opportunity. 
So I really hope that this is valuable, both in terms of learning and as well as in terms of profitability. If we break the Thursday low from last week, then I'll flip bearish and I'll have a new video to talk about the failure of it. Be more than happy to admit it. But as long as it holds, this to me is a bullish sign. And that's why I'm making a second video about it. So check out Waste Management on the 30 minute to see how these things should play out. And uh, we're going to keep an eye on this. So take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, true wisely.